Welcome to part two of Mission Parameters Basics for MatPilot Pro. In the previous video, we discussed altitude, overlap, and flight speed, and their special relationship. Now we will discuss the other mission parameters. So to control the time of flight, use the max time of flight panel seen here. You can easily select a safe time of flight that correlates with your standard operating procedures. So right now we're at 20 minutes and 30 seconds. You can adjust it as so. While adjusting this value, you will notice gray lines appear in the flight path. This indicates how many flights or batteries it will take to complete the mission. So let's make this very visible for you guys. Let's decrease our altitude. Let's decrease our max of time and you'll notice some gray lines appear. Half the field is now gray, which means this is a two battery mission or two flight mission. Lastly, selecting battery limited battery limited leaves the max time up to the drone battery. This means that map pilot will not call the dr drone home, but rely on the drone's ability to return home based on the battery levels that it reads. To have fine control over the rotation of the flight lines, we offer the standard slider and plus minus buttons for rotation in the top right corner. There it is. So you can do fine control over the rotation. You can see the flight lines rotating by one degree each time I press the plus button. You can also do more gross changes with the slider as well. The ground offset value, as seen here, virtually raises the ground. This means that the math done for the photogrammetry will take into account this virtual offset without actually adjusting the altitude that the drone will fly at. So right now, let's, for example, let's say we're going to map the roof of a building that we know is 20 meters high, and we're going to fly at 60 meters high. So that's zero that ends at 60 meters we're going to we know our building is 20 meters high so we're going to do a virtual offset of 20 meters high so let's go to 20 boom now what this does is we still fly at 60 meters high but our photogrammetry variables use the virtual offset to calculate an altitude of 40 meters so that when you take the photos all that math done is assuming the correct offset and lastly, for this video, we're going to go over the basic mission types. So MatPilot Pro provides up to five different mission types, but for right now, we're only going to go over the first two. So you can choose your mission type, and we have normal mission, which is what we've been seeing all along, and we also have grid mission. Grid mission adds essentially another pass over the entire area at a perpendicular to the original flight lines. Grid mission type is used when lots of coverage is required. Uh, one good example for a grid mission is when you do 3D mapping, so you want to have multiple passes of different faces of the same object. Grid mission will probably be your best bet for that. So for other mission types, check out our Mission Parameters Pro and the features that come with the Pro subscription level um, in the next video.